you have to get the timing right, because otherwise it's just like, bam. I guess it's like being a child on a swing. Yay! It was 40. It's not the record, but it's okay. <laughs> You're trying to create a different world. The wall becomes the floor. The most simple things are so difficult there. Often people think it looks really easy and they often say to me, I would like to have a go. But the truth is it kills your body. Your core is just working really, really hard. This I love doing because it's a little bit like flying. The higher, the better. <laughs> London is a great city for different cultures. Everyone's mixed up and that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I have many friends who have many different faiths and we often discuss what informs our beliefs and we can conclude that what's really important is how you treat other people. So I cycle every day. Um, it's the probably fastest form of transport in London. I love it. It's like an adventure every day. Um, you get to see how everything connects. It makes you feel alive, for sure. So this is where I live, Tottenham Hale. It's North London. It's right where all the riots are. <laughs> it's a special area. Kingdom, come on in. I actually love riding my bike down here. Welcome. I studied English and philosophy at university, and at the end of that, I decided I'd really like to continue dancing, so I did. I trained for a year, and I've been working ever since. I really love my life now, but many years ago, it wasn't so great. I got married, and I planned to be married forever and to give everything to that, and it didn't work out exactly as I wanted it to. There was a moment where he made some choices that impacted me, and it really threw me and everything that I had believed and that I had held on to was removed in a way that I never had anticipated. There's a scripture where Peter cries out when he's sinking and says, Lord, save me. And I, I just love the story of sinking and drowning and, and needing immediate help and just those words, Lord, save me, um, really resonated with me at the time. I think forgiveness is a really beautiful thing because it allows people to move on in life does move on and if you hold things then it, it holds you and you can't change but in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints we believe in change and we believe that change is possible and forgiveness is key. Maybe it's a selfish notion but I'm going to need some and so I need to extend some and it's just a two-way, two-way thing. I'm a dancer, I dance in the air and I dance on the ground and I teach dance. I get to dance in many different ways. I live in London, I never get bored of living in London. My name's Ness and I'm a Mormon.